why I thought it was fake immediately. Took a closer look at that watch, immediately saw it was not an RM. Dead giveaway is the weight, the alignment of the screws, the size of the screws, it's all forgiven. It's very difficult to wear something fake around us at Luxury Bazaar. Nick, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey, Roman, how you doing? Found yourself in a, in a bit of a fucking pickle, I see. I have, I have. I want to talk about what you got going on in three days' time. Okay. We, have a, we have an event selling Sunset. We throw a party for our charity. We have a charity for drug addicts and alcoholics. So my wife watches that show religiously. I can't get those voices out of my head. Monday morning, I get a phone call that somebody wants me to just play watches in three days' times in California for a charity event for a charity called Hope for the Hurting, sponsored by the Oppenheim Group. You know, the guys from Selling Sunset. Two days to get to Cali. Should be interesting. How we doing? <laughs> well, you know, the three hour time difference kind of kicking my ass right now. I'm about ready to go to bed. We still got a business meeting at Nobu. Okay. Call Richard and Cheryl. Their mobile numbers are right there. You might want to take a pic of that page or maybe the first page inside that book. And yep. that has their mobile numbers. And we will hook you up with a nice discount if you book directly with us. On their first page, you see the Wi Fi network and the Wi Fi network password? Yeah, yeah, I see it right there. Because it also has the bicycle combination locks. If you have any issues at all, even if it's late in the middle of the night, call Richard and Cheryl on those mobile numbers there. This guy deserves five stars. A couple of stressful days later, setting up shipment, security, travel plans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, getting an Airbnb. We're finally in Florida. Of course, we managed to sneak in a business meeting at Nobu tonight, which I'm looking forward to. You're asking me to send him USDT, a known scammer, on a watch that's not ours to trade for a piece of aquapod? Are you out of your mind? Why do you automatically make the decision that we're gonna pay this guy tomorrow? The watch is in Vietnam. So here's a situation in which Marco makes a decision to pay a guy in Vietnam, a guy that I know who's not necessarily a scammer, but somebody that you have to watch out for. He told him that he was gonna send him payment prior to getting a watch. And I say that is an absolute no. Like, think about that for a second. Before you start jumping and making these decisions, think about what are my risks in this transaction right now? Marco, do me a favor. Get, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. No, no worries. I'll talk to him. It's a good deal. Good deal. What are you talking about? We have, we, I thought that was our watch. We have to lay out money to this guy. Import it. It's going to cost us money. It's going to cost us time. Why are we jumping guns? I would take that octopod and throw it back in the water where it belongs with the octopus so when it comes to marco he is an exceptional worker he is a grinder he's highly motivated highly intelligent and the results prove it however especially starting out in this business when you start chasing things too much without really giving a lot of thought errors can happen mistakes can happen which equals lots and lots of dollars but slowly but surely he's getting to that and it's very rare that he makes these mistakes anymore What time did you wake up, Adrian? Actually, well, I woke up at uh, like two. All the money. He woke up at two, I woke up at three. The jet lag got me, woke up early. Figured, you know what? Let's mess with Marco a little bit. Yo, Marco, uh, I called uh, Amex, I talked to him. I, I am gonna have you on a 9 p.m. flight tonight to Vietnam. He said you can fly and pick up the watch, no problem. It's about it's about a nine and a half hour flight. I'm sorry, 11 and a half hour flight. You get there on Saturday afternoon their time, and you'd be coming back on Sunday night our time. Okay, you know I'm, in, I'm going to Montreal, right? Not no more, you're not. You, you want to get this deal done with Vietnam safely? What do you mean? I'm, I don't understand. Why can't he just ship it to Hong Kong while import it from Hong Kong? What's wrong with the phone call? Because he doesn't want to do that. He said, come pick up the watch you don't, if you don't trust me. Can I go next week? Monday? Your client's gonna wait? Yeah, I told him one week to deliver. Okay, let me call Amex. Let me see what kind of flight I can get for you. I'll call you back. Wait, are you being serious? Yeah, how else do you wanna do this deal? You're the one that came up with this idea, so let's go through with it. You ever been to Vietnam? Yeah, when Marco comes up with these uh, off the wall deals sometimes, you can't help it but to mess with it. But now we're off to the event. Let's get this done. Hey guys, I am in Corona Del Mar, California in a beautiful $30 million property that my friend Nick has actually built and developed. Whenever a cause comes up, such as drug and alcohol addictions, I'm all for it to be able to lay a helping hand. I had many people that were close to me 
whom I've seen go through this. So what these guys are doing is extremely, extremely helpful. It is a tremendous job that they've been doing for the last 10 years, and I'm very happy to be behind them and help them with this very important cause. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the widest variety of watches on the West Coast where we are currently located. We have everything from the Roman buys, aka the Independence, aka all the stuff that you will not see anywhere else besides at Luxury Bazaar. MBNF's Urworks, Dibithews, 10-piece Omega Limited Edition, and then you go all the way this way to all the Rolexes, right? What I'm trying to figure out is how to place the Rolexes. What I'm trying to do is get the Rolexes away from everybody, because that's what everybody always gravitates to. So I want to put these front and center so people can have a look and appreciate some real horology over here. You know what's funny is when Roman was packing for the show, I literally came there, I chopped it in half and put it back in the safe. I'm like, are you crazy? He was literally about to bring the whole entire safe. Look how perfectly my selection was. Literally. White gold skeleton, double balance with a baguette bezel. Just static perfection. Just the right amount of bling, open work, and a precious metal. AP, beautiful silhouette. We like to call that grailable. We're all set up. Let's get the party started. Hello, my name is Greg Cullen, and welcome to our first Hope for the Hurting Charity event. It's being held at a home I, along with my team, developed here in Newport Beach. It's a almost 10,000 square foot home. We're excited to have Roman and his organization here selling their watches and helping us to sponsor this. And we're hoping to have a great success. We're doing a lot of good. We've helped thousands of people. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Paco Pablos, AKA Dirty Fingers. I'm known to be the bridge between fine art and technology, digital world, as you can see in my fine art paintings. When you download my app and you place it on the painting, it comes to life. So each painting, each clothing of collection of collectibles or articles that we sell in our store are going to have a context and it's gonna be interactive. Thank you very much, guys. Somebody walks up to your display and he's wearing a fake Richard Mille. What's up? Agent, what do you do in cases like this? You be respectful towards them, see if there's anything they can help you out with, aka throw your fake Richard Mille in the water and let me sell you a real one. There, right? Can't argue with that. The moment I saw that watch, I saw the strap, I thought RM. Took a closer look at that watch, immediately saw it was not an RM. So to make a video, I'll explain the whole entire process. So the gentleman over here was owed money, so somebody gave him this watch thinking it's an RM55. Well, from far, it looks like an RM55. Key takeaway number one as to why I thought it was fake immediately is because this is a vented 1103 strap that's made for an RM11 and up RM1102, RM1103. That would never fit a 55 case. A 55 case is smaller. In other words, this is what an arm. This is what that strap should fit, and it's. You see the difference. This is an RM11. This strap should fit on this watch. Well, the strap is fake too, right? That's sign number one. Number two is. How thick it is. Number two is when I saw the buckle. That is just not aesthetically an RM buckle. That would that would protrude out like that and it's fat like that, right? And minus the polishing. Right, then sign number three is the thickness of this RM55. Certainly possible, but I could just tell aesthetically like RM would not make this type of spacing. And then the key dead giveaway was just look overlooking the finishing of the watch, right? So this is supposed to resemble an RM55 gray Bubba Watson, which has a ceramic finish, a ceramic coat. This looked steel immediately. Right? This, this doesn't look ceramic, there's no, that coating is not there. And then once you took it off and I felt the weight of it, it's not a ceramic watch. And then obviously just looking in the movement, it's just, it's not. And, and they make, and some of the movements that they make, especially in the manual wound watches, they almost look one for one. So that's, a, that's the hardest thing to point out. What was it then? The movement itself, okay. right? You can just see that the jewels are not RM jewels. It's, it's not real. And the dead giveaway is the weight, dead giveaway is the fact that the screws, the alignment of the screws, the size of the screws, the size of the holes, it's just, it's not, it's all forgiven. The guy still owes you 150,000. So RM55 gray bubble today on the market, let's say a complete set is around 350,000. Uh, the guy, Pete, you know, I think he owes you. Even worse, it would have been even higher. No way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, close to five, so sorry about that, but yeah. 
<laughs> and with us, we can tell it from across the room. I, yeah, I, I saw it from 10 feet away. I, I, I saw swear. you from 10 feet away. I swear I thought you were joking. Like, <laughs> no, no. I just like, no like, joke. And then he said the second time, I'm like, wait, what? Like you see, look, almost look at the thickness difference between a real strap and yeah. this one. Yeah. This one tapers in too much, this one bevels out. And I don't think that they make a vented strap for a bubble. It's just not, they don't do that. In conclusion, it's very difficult to wear something fake around us at Luxury Bazaar. Hi, my name is David Gitter. I'm the Vice President of Struck Cares. I'm involved with uh, development, partnerships, and philanthropy. Uh, very excited to be part of this event uh, and bringing poker to help raise money for an amazing cause. It was great to meet some interesting people, but let's talk some watches. That's a platinum Daytona. Yeah, yeah. Green means the time to make some money, right? Is that right? All day. Yeah, cash and checks all day. That's what we're so how are they, these are the, the prizes for the poker? No, those are the prizes yeah. for the poker. So those are the, we brought the prizes for the poker tournament. Yeah. This we came to display and to sell, if anybody wants them. So I just had a really good customer on mine. Finally decide on the fact that, look, I've been after a Aquanaut Sam Tiffany for quite some time, and now I feel like I'm ready to buy, because the market has stabilized on these, and he feels it's a safe time to buy, so. 5167 Tiffany, my boy came through with one here. That's a beautiful thing about our business. Is we got we got connects and plugs in every corner of the world. Uh, probably this one is 740,000. Um, and then if you see that diamond one, uh, that retail on that is 1.6 million. So uh, it's the only one in the world. It's one of one. As is this. What? This one is also the only one in the world. In the world. They only made one. Yeah, they only made one. Can I know that by looking at it? It's Gerard Perigo. It's not really that. Uh, like if you didn't know watches too well, you wouldn't come. Wouldn't come to mind. Yeah, but definitely a well-established brand. Do you like the watch? This one? He yes. I love it. There you I go. So don't hide it. So don't hide it. Show it. Yeah. I like my... What's your favorite one? I want this one. You want that one? Alright. <laughs> you have good taste. 1.6. Okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Maybe it's That's the attitude. Yeah. It's, it's I like this guy. Most oh, girls say I yes. Finger, Most girls will say yes. That's not true. That is real. That's, no that's 30 carats. Oh my god! I don't know. Well, they're pretty. Can I take a picture over there with you? Sure. No, you gotta do one of these. Yeah, smile, baby. Except it doesn't fit me. Put it on your pinky finger. Your mom's gonna love this. I got an upgrade. It's okay, size doesn't matter, right? It does, in that case. In, in, that, ca in that case, it actually does. That's absurd. So we do sell jewelry as well, so I figured I'd bring one thing that just yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. goes wild yeah, about. You're just carrying it in a little Ziploc bag. What, what do you want, a fancy box? Where are you, where are you we don't have that kind of service. No. He's got a hey, don't let him shit. This is really dope ass watch. Really it's really dope. It's really dope. I have a shit in my house. The, yeah, the artist. No, no, the artist. Olinsky, I'm sculpted. Yeah. But cool. I think that was probably the best collab they did at the yeah, Navy Blue sure. we, we sell them. We sell them like. It's the only one I'll ever. Own. Honestly, I think it's too flashy. You should go with something like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too flashy. Something like, like, some, like something like this is a lot more subtle, right? Rose turns it down. You say Rose tones it down? From what? Is that not a lot on camera? Oh, on camera. It doesn't tone it down, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Tones it down from what? It tones it down from what? Where did we start? Oh, from the yellow? From the yellow. I agree. Right? From the yellow, no, from the yellow it does. Right? That yellow does. Okay. 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 okay, okay. I take it back. They gave a wonderful introduction speech. They showed a video. It was extremely, extremely touching. I mean, they went to show just how much of an impact that charity has had over the last 10 years in so many people's lives that if they didn't intervene, perhaps most of those people would not even be around to tell the story. Of course, the highlight of the event was the poker tournament. At least for me, I love playing poker. They came up with this cool auction concept saying that, hey, Whoever wins this particular auction they will take their chips and will equal them to that of a chip leader. First place gets a Rolex Submariner, 
Second place gets an Omega Seamaster. Woo! How can I get him to 4,000? Now 4,000. The chip leader at the time was the gentleman you see on the screen following, who is uh, family's partial owners of the Lakers. He was the chip leader, and me and him were going back and forth. He was trying to protect his stack while I was trying to get to his stack. And let's see who wins. I got 2750 right here. Now I need 3000 Robin. I need $3,000. I'm going to do three one time. I'm going to three. I got 3000 in the back now. 35 35 one time. I'm going to 500. I'm at 3000 What is this amount? Bro, you're already leaving. Chip leader, baby. Chip leader, here we go. I'm at 35, need 4,000 dollars. You want to rob at 4,000? You're in at four. I'll bring you back in. 4,000 dollars. I'm gonna be four one time. I'm gonna be four four thousand. I'm at 35 now. Four. I'm gonna be four one time. I'm at 35. Looking for four. Somebody who's really coming after you hard right now. I'm gonna be five. On that particular auction I ended up getting the same amount of chips going into round two against Robin of course ultimately Robin ended up winning the tournament anyway but at the end of the day it raised another five thousand dollars for a great cause outside of poker lots of other wonderful things happened there was blackjack on a 20 million dollar yacht parked outside by one of the sponsors also there was a really really cool artist that was displaying at the event one of the sponsors that had artwork of Kobe Bryant but the artwork was special. It would actually activate with the use of an app and all these digital images pop up on the screen from the actual painting that I ended up winning an auction as well. So $4,000! But at the end of the day, it was about the charity. It was about hope for the hurting. Hope you guys can click the links below and support in any way that you can. Uh, the support doesn't just stop at a big fancy party it continues on these guys do a tremendous job i really encourage you to go to our website read what they do other than that guys you know what to do like comment share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>